When I was five years old, we moved out to the country. And there was only one family anywhere close to us, and they only had a daughter. I kept trying to convince her, you know, we could go out in the woods and we could build forts. And she's like, hmm, forts? I think architecture is a physical embodiment of who we are as individuals and who we are collectively as a society. So when I was a little kid, what I was totally into was football and basketball, and uh, I was on the debate team and did one act play. But even then, I had my eye on buildings and I wanted to go to MIT. It was the top ranked architecture school in the country. Suddenly, I was in an environment of these extremely smart, extremely ambitious people, and it rubs off. In the 70s, I was a rabid anti-war guy. It was a great era of people thinking of what's going to make a better world. I graduated into a terrible economy. Part of what made me commit to stay there was an offer from MIT to teach there. But then I had to find the other half of that income and ended up with a firm in Boston. From then on, it's always been partly teaching, partly practice. In about 1975, I got an offer uh, to teach at University of Texas. And I set up my office here. And the first house I ever did got on the cover of Progressive Architecture. But Clarence Roy, this god of landscape architecture, had seen this publication and he knocks on the door of my office and says, I want to partner with you on the Town Lake Comprehensive Plan. The largest planning project the city of Austin had ever done. I'm doing kitchen remodeling still. That was the big break in my career. I'm not a quick designer at all. I don't have this set of loose parts in my brain that you just assemble when the project comes. It's sweating blood and struggle every time. I am a much, much better architect and designer because I have this academic stimulus. Also, I think I'm a way, way better teacher because I know this field as a professional. I've got the cuts and bruises and, and also the thrill and the amazing satisfaction of getting buildings built and seeing people occupy them. So I think the combination of academic and professional, it definitely is complicated but it also is so positively reinforcing. When I see people interacting with the buildings I've designed, I think it just couldn't be better to be an architect. It just couldn't be better. Probably the ultimate example of that with me is the airport. And I just never tire of seeing the building used well and doing what you hoped it would do. I guess your kids are a bit like your buildings in the sense that you, know, you have this really tight, intimate relationship and things are forming and growing and making. And then at a certain point, they become themselves and they're just doing it on their own. They're interacting with the world. You're just proud of their independence and their ability to make it on their own. Thank you.